Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. So today I'm going to try something. Um, we wanted to try to make some potato soup, but I want to try to make it in the Ninja Possible. And so we're going to go ahead and try to do that. I have um, some in there <laughs> and we have the celery and the carrots. And um, with the noise that you're hearing in the background right now is Mark actually um, cubing up the potatoes that we just got done peeling. Um, and what's going to happen is I have the pressure cooker over here, or not the pressure cooker, the Ninja Possible over here on saute. And I'm putting in my vegetables right now to go ahead and... Um, get those a little bit sauteed up there so then I can go ahead and use I'll try to put this thing up so you can see in here use um, you know get this all ready for the the um, the rest of the stuff of the soup and meat and stuff like that so what happens is we go ahead and we'll get this off saute um, years ago, well, about a year or so ago, we stopped using bacon or whatever. So we decided we did like to use um, hamburger more. So it's going to be made with hamburger. But this will nicely brown here. And then by that time, Mark will be done chopping back there. We can go ahead and get this going. I won't put the milk in here right now. Um, I'm going to wait to the very last. But I usually cook mine with the actual the chicken. Um, broth so we'll be doing that and then adding the milk when it's closer so the milk doesn't scorch at all okay so the veggies are all ready to go and I'm gonna go ahead and put in um, because there's a few of us eating the two packs of hamburger And then I'm gonna put in the one thing of shake it up again. Put in the one thing of chicken broth. And I did find out a few years back, my daughter and I love Outback. And we love their um, potato soup. And we asked the waitress one day what it was that they made it with because we saw some um, faux um, uh Outback potato soup, and she did a, she did say yes that they do have the um, the chicken broth. So we've been making it like that ever since. I used to make it with full um, milk, but now I just make it like this, so it works out. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm still gonna have some milk in this, but what's gonna happen is this is gonna go ahead, and I will take it off saute, and we will start to um, get this on high because we're gonna have to eat sooner. So put about two more cups, so about six cups all together. And then what I'm gonna be doing is give us a stir again and put in some spices, which is just gonna be salt, pepper, Onion and garlic. I forgot to add the potatoes. <laughs> That's funny. Might have to add even more. I was just going to have, uh, I guess I was just going to have um, vegetable mix soup. All right. Let's throw in the potatoes because this is actually potato soup. Sometimes, have you ever wondered about yourself when you're cooking? I know I do. Might have to add in that other two cups. Yeah, I'm going to have to add in the other two cups. Oops. Nice if I grab the right one. I can't believe I did that. You know, sometimes, you know, you just, you get busy and your mind just keeps going and 
you just don't think properly. And then what's going to happen is this will actually cook down a little bit. And this extra um, that's going to be here, we'll have to come out here and stir this often. Um, but that's what we'll add the milk to, to actually make this a full thing. And get this all stirred up as much as possible. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this off slow cook. Or I'm not slow cook, but I'm going to make it go on slow cook there and put it on high and that's go ahead and get that started and I'll come back and stir this every so often and um, we'll have dinner here shortly so I hope you like this so far we'll be back all right so this has been cooking for a while now and it did cook down a little bit. It still has a little bit of time to go, but I wanted to go ahead and warm up the milk part of this so the milk can get warm. Because we'll be serving this probably within the next half an hour or so. And then one thing about this is, um, I know my sister-in-law, when I first met her and we had made some potato soup, this when I was making it all with milk. And um, she was saying something, she goes, yeah, she goes, I thickened mine with instant potatoes. <laughs> Cause I was always using, my mom always used, um, not necessarily flour, but uh, uh, the other stuff that thickens stuff to gra for the gravies. And I'm like, okay, I've never had that and I, and if I have to end up thickening this, I'll be thickening this with actually some instant potatoes. So that does actually taste good and a lot better than the cornstarch. So I'll let that keep on cooking for a while and I'll be back. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of the mashed potatoes in here. And yes, this does help thicken this pretty nicely. And plus it gives it the potato flavor instead of the cornstarch. So that's one thing about Mark's sister that it is true. That does taste good. You don't need a lot. Just I wanted to thicken this up just a little bit. I mean, obviously, when we go to pull this out of the bowl, that we're going to have to stir down each time because most of the stuff sinks to the bottom. But my question is, do you ever make this yourself? Did you do anything differently than what I do other than, obviously, the hamburger versus uh, bacon or other kind of meat? Um, let me do it a little bit thicker than that, you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mark doesn't like it really it's super thick. My neighbor Kim is over here. Hello. So that's who you there she is. Hi. I won't put my hair in the soup. <laughs> um so that's why I made a bigger batch because usually Mark and I would not eat this big of a batch, obviously, but it smells good. But it freezes good. It soup, know, does it? soup freezes really good. Yeah, I don't think I've ever froze. Yeah. This. We'll let that go for a couple more seconds and see if we need a little bit more. But anyways, that's how I do that. And I said I just use the regular instant mashed potatoes. So let me know um, if you've done this before, what changes you've made and everything. And uh, let me know in the comments down below. And thank you very much. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.